हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द फेस फोर सीपीक्यू ट्रेनिंग फोन दिस साइड अमोल वन ऑल सो टुडे इस टॉपिक इस रिलेटेड तू अ गाइडेड सेलिंग व्हाट इस द पर्पस ऑफ गाइडेड सेलिंग सो टुडे इन माय गाइडेड सेलिंग सेशन आई विल टेक टू एग्जांपल्स वन इस अ बेसिक लेवल एग्जांपल एंड अदर वन इस गाइडेड the meaning of guided selling or the purpose of guided selling is basically to use to filter out or to reduce the time consumption while a product search actually so it will give a user an interface where user will pick and choose or input some values so based on those input values the product filter will be applicable actually so at this uh, this particular guided selling will also support us to add those auto pick product while uh, defining this uh, guided selling also. So in this today's session, I will take a two example. <coughs> the first example that I am taking here is uh, uh, I would take one example where a customer deals in fabric actually, and that fabrics has a different shapes and sizes. The client product catalog contains three fabrics. Uh, those fabrics are a silk, linen, and wool, and uh, have a uh, different type of like a width and length in it. So the purpose of guided selling where user will uh, where a sales rep will uh, choose uh, three values from the their guided selling uh, form. Uh, whether it can they can pick up fabric type, they will pick up fabric width, then they will pick a like a fabric length actually. And based on those uh, a guided selling a uh, form, their input field value, the product search will be applied and if there is a single product comes in that particular filter so that product can also be added dynamically uh, to the code line uh, page actually so this session will give you a demo how we can define uh, this uh, define this guided selling for basic example so in this example i am taking uh, uh, let me give you the some product uh, level definition before jumping to this one <coughs> So in this view, let me create one new product called Fabric. So I I have already defined one a family called a Fabric, in which I have defined few a field value called Fabric type, Fabric length, the length and width. So let me quickly show you how, uh, what are the product I have configured here. <coughs> so guys in this scenario, uh, first you will have to go to the uh, product piece. In this you have one list field called product family. In which plus first define this uh, as a fabric value in the package one. As well as also please go to this product uh, custom objects and field section and create three fields one is fabric type which can be wool linen and silk another one is called width that can be like 5 feet 10 feet, 10 feet and 15 feet another one is called length so that has another pixel is called 20 feet 40 feet and 60 feet actually so these three fields first we need to define in a product custom uh, product objects and field label so let me go and teach you what are the fields that we have <coughs> so i have a fabric type here this one is the picklist values fabric type another one i have a width as a picklist value then third i have another picklist called length so these three picklist you have to define on a product as well as Let's define some couple of more product <coughs> that will list uh, that will uh, these are the product and uh, for this product I have already set up some list. Right? So the, our next step will be how to create a, a code process actually. So our guided selling next step process will be to define a code process. <coughs> so how you can define a code process? Just go to our uh, click on a all tab and go to the code process here. So in this course you can create a, a new code process just need your code process any one of any any name what you like to do that so uh, i took one ex uh, i have given one uh, i have already created one example of a code uh, 
a process here basic code process so i gave a name called basic code process and this will be like a default one and uh, the checkbox would be a auto selected folder so if the meaning of this one is if the search filter based on this input values if there is only single product so that gonna be like added automatically into the code line editor <coughs> now <coughs> once you have define a code process you will have to also define a process input so this is a related list under the code process and this related list has a custom type. so how do we open fabric type so i'm taking one input name called fabric type and label name called pick your fabric type and the display order is one our input field is called fabric type and product is called fabric type actually so i this fabric type as a custom field which is already i have defined on a product object now similarly this fabric type as an input that we are going to take as an input on a process on a guided selling page actually on a guided selling form so same field the same pick list type you would also need to define under this a custom object or under this like a, a cpq object name called as input and we'll have to <laughs> define a same uh, pick list called fabric type also so I have defined the same API name, uh, fabric type, and this fabric type is nothing but list values. And again, I have another length as a list values. It is again similar to the same API with the product. And uh, third one is called width actually. So this width is similar. It is again a list values, and uh, their uh, API name should be similar to the product that we have matching. So similar uh, after adding this one or defining this one in a product field, this is the a custom field uh, custom pick list values and uh, input field is another custom pick list value basically so input field or under product field pick list you have to add these three field to define further so we have one input field we have one uh, product field. we have one field once you have added or created this custom field of fabric type width and length after this defining this custom field you will have to add this API name in the input field, which is a, again a pillage field, and add these three values fabric type, in length, and width. Similarly, once I have added in an input pickless field, I will have to add the same pickless uh, pick values like fabric type, length, and width in this uh, product field also. Right? So, what's what system will do? <coughs> the moment this the moment this uh, a pick list field values uh, will give as a like a sales rep as, as a value uh, we will provide on a code line edit. so that value is going to be matched with the product uh, fabric type def, uh, field defined on a product label actually. okay so <coughs> these are the three process input that we have to define now so uh, I have defined these three uh, input field one is fabric type another one is called width another one is called length and i have uh, made this display order is one two and three and uh, i have a chosen an operator called equals and uh, contains or contains for this one actually so once i have added these three input under the process input file then you can capture this uh, id the process id code process id and go and update uh, this code process ID on a code side actually. So let me open the code now. <coughs> so I uh, I have a, a created a one a code here uh, for myself as a sample. So the code I have already uh, defined, I have already created it. So here you see I have a code process ID. So whenever a user creates a code this code process id should be updated actually so this field is nothing but whatever the code that we have defined so far the same record id will have to update under the code process id field in a code object so this field value you can also populate with help of trigger or with help of workflow rule field update based on your criteria so the moment now i am going to just quickly give you a demo how it will look like so i'm just uh, going to click on edit line i would like to add some few product so the moment you edit line
Sorry. I'm just going to click on add product here. The moment you will click on add product, in that code process ID is be uploaded on a code header under the code process ID that will automatically open the same guided selling as the input field that I have selected here. So what I'm trying to do here is I am trying to pick any linen and then put a fabric called uh, 10 feet or 15 feet then <coughs> fabric length of 60 feet so I'm just clicking on a suggest the moment you will click uh, a suggest button because I have uh, 15 uh, width and length I have only one product so this really got selected actually because I have only one product which uh, has only a criteria match as only one record associated so here you see how this guided selling is helping us to uh, quickly search the product filter and quickly add to the our code line editor page actually. So let me give you another example, uh, the same example one more time. Just add product here you will see the uh, guided selling tab. So the moment you have choose a wool and you have uh, selected a 10 feet and then you have a 20 feet of length, I just click on a suggest. So I, I do not have access like any fabric mind. So let me go to that fabric list view what fabric currently in my system. So let's go. So I have a, a fabric of silk fabric. This is of 20 feet length and 5 feet of width actually. So let's see. I'm going to put a guided selling one more time. I have a silk. Uh, 20 feet and uh, 20 feet width. 20 feet length and 5 feet width. Great. Just click on the suggest here. So you see the 520 got selected automatically. It's got added to my uh, code line editor uh, very quickly. So this guided selling will help us in uh, uh, sorting down our time to finalize our code actually. So now coming to the another uh, example of uh, our guided selling, which is a uh, nothing but again an advanced example that I took. This advanced example is uh, is nothing but uh, it's called dependent. Uh, uh, a value actually so <clears throat> so this advanced like a, a business process solution what I did I took this particular example let's suppose in my let me give you some example here actually, give me a moment So what business problem are you solving based on those business problem solving uh, and uh, let me quickly give a demo what I'm trying to show, uh, show you in a demo actually. So give me a moment before jumping on to the guided selling. I've already discussed this. Six. I'm just uh, trying to give you one demo quickly and then I will show you how I have configured the scenario. So I have a uh, executed another guided selling I have defined a one more code process so I'm just going to edit and show you how it will look like <coughs> let me see now click on add, add product here so this guided selling is nothing but it's uh, based on the questionnaires so what business problem are you solving are we solving consolidated is it set or are you solving managed managed time and expense actually so i am going to deal with one of my it partner or it customer actually so i have some implementation uh, requirement for my end so i am planning to uh, set up uh, i am planning like i give them uh, a uh, quote actually so be, here you see this pick list are nothing but it's a dependent something right so it depend on like let's suppose i am planning for managed time expense right so it will ask uh, uh, another own commercial segment it will be like uh, smb or enterprise or public sector or deployment option is cloud or enterprise and similarly if i choose a consolidated it it asks for what server type actually so here you see this dependent pick list is varying based on the input that I have I gave here, right? If I am choosing the consolidated IT, it asks for the what server type you are choosing and what deployment option you are choosing. If I choose a management time and expense, 
then it will ask for what commercial assignment you are using it will be. I will be like deployment option will be a cloud or on premise. So this I have configured this dependent uh, input values. So based on let's suppose I choose a manage uh, time and expense. So this commercial segment should be appear. If I choose a consolidated IT asset, then what server type we will have to select. So this dependent how can I can achieve through our code process. This is what I am trying to give you in a demo here. <laughs> Similarly, as you as you already like uh, uh, as you are aware that we have created a weak uh, field on a product and uh, under a, a process input uh, object also. So please make sure you have uh, created these business solutions, this server replacement and this like a deployment options and employee and custom commercial segment. These are some custom of uh, custom field on a product actually or as well as on uh, <clears throat> as well as on uh, uh, process input object also. So we have to create these five field one two three four five field on code process input object as well as code process input object means moment on a code process input object, go to the custom field section. In this uh, you have to create this uh, field whatever the commercial seg uh, segment and then business solution these five fields you will have to create again here in a process input as well as on a product you will have to add the same pick list values so these details are available here in the business solution uh, is a pick list values this three way pick list values will have to put one is called concentrated IT set then management time manage time staff augmentation then in the server list <coughs> uh, field to uh, pick list values called application database so these will to create uh, yes, the four key, the uh, fields are nothing but it is a pick list values that four fields will have to define on uh, uh, process input object also so let me quickly give you uh, the walk through what we have uh, configured so far <coughs> so in this like a uh, again you have to go to the code process and define this new code process and just uh, uh, make this product uh, field as the auto selected product here so once you have updated this one uh, now you have to create this uh, five steps of uh, process input so i have given a business solution as a name label called what business problem are you solving and then a uh, display order is one then the business solution as a input field and then in the product field i have chosen a business solution as a product field now on the server type this what type process input uh, record will apply to this one server type what server type and this server type as a input this input depends on the uh, the selection of consolidated it asset so if the consolidated it asset a condition matches with the consolidated it asset right i have i have put it up input in this input process input condition. so this condition says this uh, condition says if the business solution the process input get matches with the consolidated it asset then only this what i field will be visible okay so i to say it one more time let me repeat you if the consolidated it if i have selected nothing here if consolidated it is selected then we'll have to pick what server type we'll have to choose what server type so again for what server type as a, a process input field I am I am adding a criteria or input criteria called if business solution is consolidated IT then enable this one actually so let me show you one more time here. so what I did here now give me a moment in this server type because we'll have to make this server type input but it should be a conditional bit right the condition is if the business solution value is a, a consolidated IT asset, then only display this server type. Now, similarly, <coughs> uh, similarly for the deployment options, okay, we may open this uh, deployment option. So now this deployment option will only be visible if my business solution chosen or selected as a manage time and expense. So if I am choosing my business solution as a manage time and expense, then only this deployment option will appear uh, to choose the values. Okay, let me give you a, a quick demo on this one. So what I'm trying to say, if management time and expense is selected in my business solution, then this deployment option as a pick list will appear actually. So here you see, if I choose none, so no 
uh, no uh, option was available so no, once i choose a manage time and expense then deployment option is available here right so i can choose on cloud or on premise right? so this is the depend how we can find because this deployment option is totally depend on the this particular value or so so then uh, just define this process input condition and make it active actually so the, the moment you have made this particular uh, deployment option is active then you are good to go so similarly you can define more, much and more uh, condition in it so guys <coughs> this is all about uh, a guided selling process that we have covered so far hope you guys are uh, enjoying uh, my session please feel free to subscribe my uh, s4 cpu training program as well as please provide your inputs and comments in the comment section so that i can uh, enhance my uh, language i can enhance my uh, like any kind of like a feedback you like to give us please feel free to add on our comment section thank you guys